Okay, I've got a rental property uh, that I came to to do some maintenance uh, after a renter left and uh, a bunch of the light bulbs in the basement on these uh, type shop lights uh, were out. And uh, so I knew either the bulbs were out or uh, the ballasts were going bad. The house is about 20 years old. Um, so I was in Lowe's Home Improvement looking at light bulbs, uh, just happened to go past and I saw these. And a little sign in particular about the direct wire and how you can um, uh, bypass your ballast and change change your bulbs, uh, change your fixtures to LED bulbs. Um, and that was pretty uh, compelling to me because this, this box of 10 was uh, $70, right? And, um, and so that allows me to do at least four, maybe five uh, shop lights. Um, obviously I could do up to five. I only need to do four, uh, for, for my situation. Um, but anyway, uh, four or five ballasts, that's 120, 150 bucks in ballasts. Uh, this was $70, uh, to, uh, hopefully to convert to a new technology, uh, a modern technology, LED lights use, uh, what, 14, 14 Watts versus the, the bulbs, the, this says it's better than 32, but the bulbs I had were 40 Watts. So you're talking about at 14 watts, a 65% reduction in power use, uh, and the initial cost is going to be less, $70 for the box of bulbs, uh, and a little bit of time for me versus the, the uh, 100, 150 bucks for new ballasts, um, plus the, any, um, any old, old style bulbs that needed to be replaced. So I went with this, uh, hoping I could figure out how to, uh, to, um, get rid of the ballast uh, and, uh, and figure out how to wire these up. All right, so here's my, uh, my old shop light, 48 incher. Uh, here's the, uh, the access panel um, that I took off. Um, but anyway, you can see the ballast. Uh, oops, um, that ballast is no good, the lights weren't working. Uh, and in particular, uh, what's important are that we've got these red and blue wires uh, and the color is not particularly important but what is important? What is important is that these are going, sorry, uh, two up in here. We got the reds going in there, and the and the blues going in over on on the other side. Um, interestingly, these things are called tombstones. I have learned. Uh, so, it, it after our conversion, this uh, red and blue side that's going to be our our lead side, right? Our hot side. Uh, and then the other deal um, from coming out of the ballast oops, is uh, yellow, right? And it, and it goes over here and the yellow feeds into this one side, this one tombstone. And then those whoop, jump over um, here to the other side. So this is gonna be the neutral side after our conversion. So that's important. Um, so where you, where you get where you got these loops coming together, that's the neutral side. Probably we're gonna, where where your yellow wires are coming out of the ballast, and this is your lead side, your hot side, um, that's gonna connect to your black house wiring, where you've got um, these going in directly into the tombstones with no loop uh, across them. All right. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna uh, take take the wire nuts. Well, first I'm gonna turn the power off. Uh, and then I'm going to take the wire nuts uh, off of off of the um, the white and the black, right? And and disconnect those. Uh, and then I'm going to you got to cut these guys. Um, so I'm going to cut the uh, red and blues. Uh, I'm going to cut them here, pretty close to pretty close to the ballast, just to give me plenty of space. And uh, same thing, you got to cut the yellows off the ballast and. Uh, so I'm going to cut them here pretty close um, to the ballast itself um, just to give me uh, plenty of uh, plenty of, of wire to, to deal with. Okay, so ooh, uh, so you can see power's out um, just at the switch. You can see I've cut cut the ballast wires there. We've got plenty left to deal with. Same thing here with the yellows. Cut the ballast there. Got plenty of yellow to, to deal with later. And then I've uh, taken the... Um, white and black and, and uh, unscrew those wire nuts from the, the house leads. So for this ballast, it's just held in by that one little screw there. 
So I'm gonna undo that and pull this out and, and discard it. All right, so here, uh, so what I'm gonna do now is, again, uh, red, and, red and blue. I'm gonna hook those up to the black. It's gonna be in, in I'm gonna strip them, strip all four of those uh, and wire nut them to this black. And you can see, you know, I'm kind of stretched here a little bit. You know, we're gonna make it work. It's not gonna be a big deal. But basically that's why you wanna give yourself plenty of, plenty of wire, cut them off close to the ballast. Um, so you got plenty of, of uh, wire to play with. So anyway, these four are, are gonna um, hook up to the black lead from the house. And then uh, I'm gonna take the yellows, these two yellows I'm gonna strip and, uh, and put them uh, there with the, with the neutral, right? So white is neutral, black is hot or lead. This is gonna be the lead side, the hot side. This is gonna be the neutral side. Uh, and that matters because you gotta put the, the lamps in, you gotta put the bulbs in um, with a, a neutral side, uh, which is labeled, and a lead side, which is labeled. Okay, so uh, here's what I've done so far. I stripped those yellows uh, and twisted them together uh, in the wire nut uh, with the uh, white um, neutrals coming from the house. And then so far I've stripped these, uh, these uh, two blues, two reds, right? And I'm gonna twist them together and put them uh, with the hot uh, or lead. Um, same thing, hot lead coming out of the house. So just real quick, I find it helpful to twist these four together first, because there's gonna be a lot of wires coming together, right? In this, in this uh, wire nut. So, so here's what we got. Okay, so I got uh, all those twisted together. That's, to me, that's the hardest part of the job uh, is just especially getting all these six together, uh, twisted up and, and uh, what you feel is a good solid connection so that nothing's missing a wire to wire connection. Um, so anyway, uh, neutral side down here, lead side down here. Um, you'll see I've got, I've got the new lamp here and that's an N for neutral. It's not showing up very well in this light. So that's the neutral side, flipping this over. There you can see the L, all right? So that's the lead side. So again, lead side, that's gonna go up here um, with, the, uh, with the red and, and blue wires. Okay, so I've got one, uh, one lamp in. They do, they do work one at a time. You don't have to have two in to make it work. I'm gonna flip the switch here, cross your fingers uh, that it comes on. Hey, all right. So all right, here, here goes for the second test. All right, all right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, uh, that's a little hard to see, but anyway, all these wires are still hanging out. I'm gonna tuck those up. Uh, first, I'm gonna take the lamps out, uh, then tuck the wires up uh, more neatly, put that cover in wherever it went. Yeah, put that cover in um, so to cover all the, all the wires up. All right, so we're all set. I think we're about ready to go. Last turn on. There they go, we're in business. So last note, I uh, took one of the lamps out, one of the bulbs, I put on the warning sticker. Uh, I don't think that's mission critical, but they gave it to me, so I'll put it on. And I labeled this side L for lead and an ugly N for neutral, um, just so, uh, so I remember later on. Okay, that's it. I hope that was helpful. Uh, I think probably start to finish if I wasn't filming. Um, you know, the first one always takes a little bit longer to figure out. Um, so that was probably, I don't know, a half an hour. But I've got one or two more to do, and I expect they'll take me um, 10 or 15 minutes each. Um, you know, and for me, the hardest part is twisting twisting all those wires together, especially when you have six of them that you got to get together. Um, that just takes a little bit of whatever. Uh, but anyway, hope this, hope this was helpful, um, and, uh, and good luck. And just into, as an epilogue, here's a little extra commentary on other things I thought about, other bulbs, uh, and, uh, and, and how I got to the point where I decided to make the conversion instead of uh, doing anything else. The other thing, real quick, that I looked at was, um, that I actually bought, but I will return, uh, are these... Uh, eight foot LED hybrids. Um, and it says, you know, it says they're all in one. Um, 
uh, here, direct replacement for T8 and T12 fluorescence. That sounded pretty good. Um, not compatible with magnetic ballast. I didn't have that. Um, double in power, no socket replacement necessary, but I'm not sure that's true. Um, see, and here, here you can see uh, replaces T12 and T8 universal base. But see, it shows that single pin, not the double pin that I have. Um, and it says plug and play. Um, uh, works with existing T12 electronic ballast, or if ballast fails, bypassed ballast to continue using lamp. That sounds awesome. Um, and these were, um, what, $35 for two, right? So these were $35 for two, $70 for four, uh, something like that. That was on sale at Lowe's. Usually they're $50 bucks a pack. Um, anyway, uh, this guy, uh, this uh, set of 10 um, was $70. So this is a better deal, of course. This is what worked. For me, these did not work because they have that single pin. And, and uh, uh, I took it out and looked. Uh, you can even see up here, right? It's got that single pin, which is not what I have. So um, to me, th this was confusing. It says it'll work with anything, plug and play, but uh, it didn't work. And I, I read on a package that it, if your bulbs glow, uh, on the end, then you need to replace the starters. Uh, and so that was my next step because starters were about a dollar a pack and I'd rather pay a dollar a pack for new starters than 25 or $30 for a new ballast. So I got those. Turns out these lights don't have starters and that's like really old technology. Uh, so anything, you know, probably 10, 15, 20 years old, uh, it doesn't have starters in it. It's just a, a, a what they call the ballast is called a, a quick start ballast. Just wanted to, a couple things uh, to point out again. Um, you know, you got the lead, uh, lead and neutral side. Um, this light, this lamp, the, the bulb has this label on the back. Uh, so when I put it in, uh, I always rotate that so it's facing up. It uh, doesn't make any shadows or whatever. And, um, and then this doesn't seem as fragile as a regular fluorescent tube. I haven't dropped it to see if it shatters in a million pieces. I don't plan on doing that, but it does seem a little more durable. This might be made out of plastic here instead of glass. Um, but, uh, but that's, if they're more durable, that's a nice feature as well. I also want to say what I'm not going to do is ever put these in with the power on if I can help it, um, because I'm sure they've got microchips in them. Um, and, uh, you know, just connecting something and I don't know, to, to power that's on that just, uh, strikes me as maybe an, an error. So I'm always going to turn the power off, um, put the bulbs in and then turn the power on.